This is the best offense in Madden 23 that no one knows about. It has explosive pass plays, glitch routes that beat any defense, and one play touchdowns that can score against every defense in the game. Break yourself, fool! So if you want to see a brand new offense I'm using to get results like this, Stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. The place from today's video can once again be found in my brand new Pittsburgh Steelers offensive ebook that I just put out a few days ago. Just make sure to set the NFL Live playbook to on so that you can get all the additional plays that this offense has to offer. If you guys need more money plays from this or any of my ebooks, just click the links in the description or the top pin comment to have them sent instantly to the email of your choice for instant download. I'm using the Cowboys once again today as this is easily one of my favorite Madden teams to use and will probably be one of the best teams used in Madden 24. And I am facing probably the most used team in the game this year in the Green Bay Packers. But before I get into the video, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel. The offensive formation that I'm going to start out with today is the gun tight doubles as this might be my favorite offense in the game right now i just put out a full video about this offense so if you guys want to know more about this formation i will have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop at the end of the video so stick around for that i start the game out by taking the running back underneath for five yards before absolutely mossing the defender for the first down you got moss I started to hit some drag routes on the next play before I noticed that my opponent is in a cover one and playing really aggressively with the deep safety. So on the next play, I run those same drags again, wait for him to bite, Psych! before I go to the deeper route to take an early lead. On defense though, Aaron Rodgers always has the Cowboys number as he completes a big pass over the middle. I get him into a third and three from here before he reads cover zero and hits his burner Christian Watson on a simple streak to tie the game. I read cover zero as well on the next drive, so I immediately switch to the shot fade cross, which is one of the best plays in the game, and it's the reason I use this offense in the first place. Break yourself, fool! As it absolutely torches any man coverage. From here, I see his cornerbacks are at different depths, which usually means a cover three cloud or a cover six, so I switch over to the Z spot, put the B route on a streak, and the tight end gets wide open to score in just two plays. He starts to drive out by completing a big pass of my cover three seam before my defense starts to play lights out for the next two plays by getting hands on the ball before we almost get an instant sack Woo! to force a fourth and ten. He comes down an empty backfield look on the next play, so I switch to cover zero once again, and despite the coverage being way off to start the play, Christian Watson's speed is just too much as he accelerates right past my safety for his second touchdown of the game. What the hell is that? Back in offense, I thought I read cover three, so I set up a cover three one play touchdown out of the bench play. To set this up, all I have to do is put every receiver on a streak or fade except the corner route and motion out this receiver here. But once the play starts, I realize it's a cover one man, so I quickly throw it to the corner route instead, which is wide open for another big play. I read cover one or cover three again on the next play, so I set it up again, only this time it was a cover three. So once I see the cornerback bite on the corner route, I bullet and pass lead away from the safety for the score. Christian Watson's speed definitely has me worried now on defense, so much so that on the next play he gets a huge run to get inside of the field goal range. But nobody's kicking field goals today as he completes another pass to get inside the 10. Now that Watson on a streak isn't an option, I decide to send the house on the next two plays and get sacks on both of them to knock him back to third and 27 before my coverage corner whiffs on the next play to let him get back inside the five. I send the house on the next play, but somehow he picks it up and his running back gets just enough separation for the score. On the next drive, Dak is threading needles out here between three defenders to get me on the hash mark. So on the next play, I read zone coverage and I go back to the bench play to get a big first down before Lamb drops the ball on the next play right over the middle and I have to settle for a field goal. There's still a lot of time left on the clock though as he takes another deep shot against my Manzero Blitz on the next play to Romeo Dobbs. Like what is with the speed of these Cowboys defenders? I'm so sick to these people! With 30 seconds left I use a play I never use but I see other people use a lot and of course I throw an interception when I use it. Oh you mother <laughs> okay. And now everyone is wide open on defense as he completes a big pass over the middle before beating me up the seam to take a commanding lead. Damn it! 
Now with only 11 seconds left, I have to do something to keep up here. And luckily, the fullback kick on the next play reaches my return man as I return it to the 46, thinking I can at least kick a field goal from here. But my kicker clearly doesn't have the foot, so I call a timeout and try a Hail Mary from here, only to see that he gets called for a P.I. on the very last play of the half. I do the math and decide to play it safe by kicking the field goal as it will have me only down by one score, but in retrospect, it felt like a weak move, and I probably should have tried for the touchdown. On defense, I come out and cover four, but he sees me trying to play too shallow, and he cooks me with Christian Watson on a streak again. And now he has three touchdowns against the Cowboys with Christian Watson, just like in real life. Who says Madden isn't realistic? At this point, I decided to switch up offenses to show him something different, so I switch over from my current favorite offense to the formation that has been my favorite offense all year out of the Gunstack Y Flex, which is only available in the NFL Live version of the Steelers playbook, but it's probably the deepest and most complete version of it in the entire game. This is another offense that I've done a lot of videos on, so if you guys want to see more, I once again have links in the description as well as on-screen pops at the end of the video. I set up my audible plays and read man coverage on the first play, so I hit the zig from the PA replay. After that, it gets me to a fourth and five that I have to go for in the next play. When I read cover one man, I switch to the Y sail and thread the needle again to keep the drive alive. Oh, tight, 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 yeah! Before hitting the zig on the next play and taking it all the way for the score. We have to go for two here at some point, so I switch over to one of my all-time favorite plays in the drive age wheel as this route is almost unstoppable. We can score as much as we want on offense, but on defense we need to stop. We start off pretty good shutting down his run plays to get him into a third and long before he runs it again to get to fourth and four. Bring that ass here, boy. That we snuff out in the backfield for a loss. On offense, we go back to the gun doubles and take the drag to get inside the 10 before I see Pollard standing alone in the end zone. On defense, though, I start to use a new concept that I just put out a gameplay video about where I create a cover four and a cover three hybrid, as this was really the first game where I started trying to use this, and we finally start getting some stops because of it as we shut down the run on the next play, before confusing him into holding the ball too long on the next one to force a third and long that ends in a crazy shed and a sack. From here, he probably should have punted, but it's Madden, so he goes for it once again up top, and if he had anyone other than Randall Cobb running that route, he probably would have scored. So I get the ball back in the red zone this time, hit the running back on a table route from the Z spot before finishing the drive to the tight end once again to tie the game. I'm only running that cover four defense now as this is the first game that I used it in and it really seemed like I was onto something as we get another coverage sack to push him back to second and 20. He tries to beat me with a crossing route in the next play gotcha, bitch. and it turns into a key interception that I return all the way to the 12 yard line before hitting the running back underneath to take the lead back. That's just too easy. On defense, I continue to use the cover four setup once again, and suddenly, defense went from not being able to stop anyone gotcha, bitch. to getting interceptions on back-to-back -back plays and totally confusing my opponent. I try to play it smart and run some clock from here, but at the end of the day, I guess I just want to keep my foot on the gas as I throw another interception on the very next play. <laughs> I keep my defensive streak alive, though, as I continue with my cover four setup gotcha, bitch. and get another interception for the third straight play. I try to run the ball in the next play because you can't throw an interception that way, as I am now milking clock to zero before throwing another Another interception on the very next pass play with only two minutes left as this entire game has just been insane he finds a hole in my cover four in the next play though as Watson almost breaks the defense that was a close one. so on the next play I switch out of this defense entirely and that was a mistake as he completes his first pass in a long time I go back to it though in the next play and now he's dinking and dunking me in the hopes of scoring with no time left as he slowly and methodical puts together a clutch drive against the Cowboys when it matters most that would make the real Aaron Rodgers proud as he not only punches it in with 24 seconds left but he decides to go for two and the win. He spreads me out on the next play and even though I had a defender in his face you can't beat that gunslinger as he takes the lead. But with 24 seconds left I am not done yet. <laughs> Not done throwing picks, that is, as I lose this game, but it was definitely a fun one that I probably could have won if I had just played a little bit smarter. Either way, it was a good video, and I wanted to show you guys because the offense definitely played top-notch. But that's it. That's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. If you want to see more from the offenses and defenses that I was using in today's video, I once again have links to them popping up on screen, so just click the links as I'm sure it'll help with the game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Shout out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like e books and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.